Hello. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at something different. It's a program from a company called Topaz Labs, and the program's called Video Enhance AI. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate this program on a couple of different videos. So an old music video that I made for one of my own songs, and also just the intro of this video. I'm going to mess around with that and enhance it. I know that a lot of people who work in audio also work with video, so I thought this program might be interesting. It's something I picked up on Black Friday. So what I'm going to do is import the intro video that I'm going to use for this actual review and scrub across the part where you can see there's a decent amount of noise here. Proteus fine tune actually has like a sort of a AI assisted preset. So you can hit this button here and it adjusts vert compression, reduce noise actually increase the reduced noise you'll have to tweak these usually just a little bit and I'll run a preview this is all running on an M1 MacBook Air as well so I'm interested to see how this will perform it works pretty well on Intel based Mac or Intel based PC with like a dedicated graphics card but this is a MacBook Air with the M1 chip so it's downloading optimized models This file is in HD and that's processed. So it's taking about half a second per frame. If I click on the screen here, you can see the before and after. It seems like a minimal, minimal difference with that setting. Try something a bit more aggressive so I'll take the revert compression up to at 76 bring the sharpen up slightly I'll bring the reduce noise up a bit and de blur maybe up a little bit try that again so there you should be able to see that it's tightened up that image quite a bit Got rid of the aliasing on the table. Got rid of quite a lot of the noise. You probably crank that even more. So that the noise in this section is reduced. Try bringing the noise reduction up a bit more. Now this is just a single image, so it's not actually having to work so hard on this image, but you can definitely see a significant difference there in the noise. What you can also do is increase the size. We'll try increasing it to 400% here and see how it handles it. Probably have to download another model. And it'll obviously increase the, the amount of time it takes for a frame. So that's a really significant difference there. That's upped it from 1080p to 4K.
That's a really big difference. Even on the text, you can see. There are a couple of different ways that you can view things. You can have a side-by-side -side view or split view. I quite like the single view where you can just click on it and see the direct comparison. So what I'll do is I'll load up another video here which is a old music video that I created a few years ago using footage that I captured up in the Mourn Mountains and then sort of colorized and made it look kind, kind of trippy. But basically the camera that I captured this with was 720p. So even if I enhance this to 1080p, let's have a look and see what it does. Again, like the difference there in that footage, that's kind of ridiculous. Taking about a third of a second per frame. Look, look at the detail that it's brought out. That's what it was. And that's what it is afterwards. That's kind of crazy. I can do some other really cool stuff. Um, I think I'm definitely going to have to do a restoration of this video using this program. Even just bringing it out to 1080p, it, it looks way better. Like it's de blurred that footage. It seemed like it was slightly out of focus before. So, say this footage here. There's another pretty cool trick that you can do. Kronos. Let me see. We do a slow motion. Let's do 300% slow motion. You can't do enlarging with the slow motion, so you have to choose the video size that you're going to use and do the slow motion to it. So you would need to upscale it first before you try slow motion. Again, if it needs a optimized model for the particular video that you're doing or the particular model that you're using, then it just downloads it automatically. Slow motion is a little more intensive. And what I'll do is if I rework this video, I'll upload it to my channel and you can see the fully, fully processed, upscaled version of it. And I can even leave a link to the, the previous version in the description. So yeah, if you're working with old footage, uh, what I find is as well, if you have really highly compressed or even like variable bit rate footage, you can feed it into this program and it will de-block it. It will anti-alias it. It'll do all kinds of really cool denoising. The results look really natural and they're releasing updates for it very, very frequently as well. It seems to have new sort of iterations and features and models added quite frequently.
I think you get a year's worth of updates with the, when you purchase it. You'll be able to see there. It slowed it down and it smoothed the motion. I think I could even have increased the amount of frames to uh, have it be 60 frames per second as well. So you can convert videos from 24 or 30 frames a second to 50, 60 frames a second. I think it can go, let's see, it can go as high as 120 frames per second. So you have the option to keep audio or probably makes more sense to strip the audio from the video and then reinsert it afterwards with the restored footage. I'm not sure how good the audio engine is in this software. It seems to specialize with video. You have really, really cool deinterlacing that works very, very well. And dehalo, which can like fix overly sharpened footage as well. Proteus Fine Tune, I find is my favorite so far just because it's very, very flexible. You've got a ton of, ton of control over it. My second favorite is probably Artemis Alias and Moir. It works really, really well with good quality footage that you want to upscale. So say you want to upscale footage from even I've upscaled footage from 240 by 320 to basically 400% or even 500%. And it's basically 720p or higher resolution. And it manages to anti-alias it and basically denoise it. And it looks natural. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy what this thing can do. Then you've got a bunch of sort of low quality, high quality, medium quality, which is specifically designed for enhancing sort of high quality video, medium quality video, low quality video. But as I say, I find that the Proteus Fine Tune works the best. I've actually made a couple of suggestions to them that they could maybe have this revert compression be dynamic per frame. So if you go, if you're using variable bitrate video, and maybe one of the frames or a couple of the frames go bad first a couple of seconds because of a streaming problem or something like that, that this would be able to dynamically recognize that and fix the issues with that frame without negatively impacting the good frames. Same with sharpen, same with noise reduction. So I've made a couple of suggestions to them for future versions and they seem very receptive to feedback on that. So definitely check this out. If you're working with video, I would say this is a pretty essential tool. I mean, this footage here, the source material is 720p. So that's it. But with this program, I can enlarge it to, like, I'll, I'll do it again just with the Proteus Fine Tune. We'll upscale it just to 1080p again. There you can see the side by side. Third of a second per frame. So that three minute video probably be processing about an hour. Again, this one's running on a M1 MacBook. But it runs really well on Intel-based Macs or Intel-based PCs. I think it runs slightly better on NVIDIA cards, but it also runs on AMD. But the fact that it's running so well on a M1 Air is fantastic as well. I don't know if it's taking advantage of the, the neural engine or what, but you can see the amount of detail that's bringing out in the textures of the rocks and the hair. These were wild horses that were in the Moor Mountains and Northern Ireland. Like just look at the detail that it's pulling out of those rocks and in the grass. And I reckon I could probably upscale that even more. So yeah, if you work with video, I think this program's a no-brainer. There's an affiliate link in the description. And if you feel like supporting the channel and using that affiliate link to purchase it, if you're going to buy it, then I'd really appreciate that. Cheers.